Hello. And today we're gonna uh, start with the watercolor painting. And in watercolor painting, we have a different, different techniques. Uh, one of the techniques that it's more fun and uh, I cannot say that it's very easy because at uh, the same time that you cannot control it, you have to control it. But the technique is loose technique. Then we're not gonna control uh, it a lot. Two things that first you have to have, it's two container of the water. One with very clean, clear water and the other one for washing your brushes. Uh, you need to have a rag or a tissue in your hands that I'm using of a tissue right now. And uh, you need the, a set of the color, watercolor set. I'm using of a several set that I have. You can use of the uh, cubes or you can use of these bars. It's up to you. Any of them that you're using, it's gonna be good. And you need a palette to use of these for mixing the colors to each other. So, the first thing that we are doing is we're using of a large brush and you're gonna use of these to make everywhere wet. The paper, watercolor paper, it has uh, come with a different kind of the, you know, the variety of them. I ask you to get a cold press because cold press has texture on these and it's let you to manipulate your paint a little longer. It's not gonna dry as fast as that we have on the hot press. And uh, as much that the, it's heavier, the quality is better. Uh, and I ask you to get 140, no less than 140. Uh, 140 is a pretty good ones for our purpose. So then I made everywhere wet and I was generous on adding water everywhere. If you see somewhere is not wet, just make it wet and uh, don't let it get dry until the first layer we're done with the first layer so the first layer i'm gonna send you the picture that i'm working on this and it's a landscape very minimalism landscape i'm gonna come with the cerulean blue okay and just coming with the cerulean blue let it go on the sky everywhere and you see that it's because it was wet and again i am gonna see some part of this it's not wet and i'm gonna make it wet don't let it get dry okay and coming to continue with your blue on the sky and this is gonna be our first layer and I'm gonna almost stop here. I'm gonna work on this later and make it wet later. But this is the part that it should be wet. And after that, I'm gonna use of a darker blue on the horizon. This is my horizon and I'm gonna come and use of a darker blue here. Then as you see, I'm using of the darker blue. Darker blue can be ultramarine blue or it can be petalo or other blues okay then this is gonna be uh, i'm not gonna be worried about this part 
okay and this is like that and i want to add a little of the cloud to my sky the easiest way is using of your tissue and let it the tissue remove some of the blue here and you see that I'm gonna have some parts that it's look like a, a cloud and as it's still wet I'm coming with the blue and I'm gonna go and around it not um, too much it's too much pigments right now then I'm gonna use up my rags and make it a little less and coming and tapping on the around the clouds and even going on inside of this and making just a shape that you like the picture that i'm gonna send for you uh, it's not exactly the cloud that I'm making here and you don't have to make it exactly. Then again, I'm coming around it and I'm mostly using of the watercolor, not a lot. If it's getting a lot like this, I'm gonna just adding a little water to it to make it like a sky color and be sure that you're not outlining them you see that i'm tapping it then the pigment go can go um, around the skies This part is very light. Then if I'm adding this like that, it's very dark for this. Using of the water again on your pigment and make it as light of the sky. Somehow you're defined. You have to define the shape of the clouds. that's good I can come with the very light blue and I'm using of the darker blue that I had I'm using of darker blue and I'm diluted it a lot okay then I'm when I'm coming inside the cloud then you're just seeing a darker value here and you know that the clouds they are not just white they have dark medium and light and that's why that i'm adding a little darker value inside of them then it's gonna be more realistic some of them can have it darker Part, and some of them less dark on, on them and I'm gonna leave it like that I think it's a uh, good for the yeah somebody has to stop me but uh, I think it's a uh, good for the first landscape drawing with the watercolor but this is up to you when you want to stop it so now I'm gonna work on this area and I'm gonna let it get a little drier and then I can come and work on this again. Uh, one thing that I want to show you is the picture. I forgot to show you the picture in the beginning. Let me, I found the picture and show it to you. 
this is the picture that I'm using. Then you see that we have very transparent kind of the cloud here, but I made it a little more than you can work on this uh, and create cloud better, okay? Then this and after that, I'm gonna work on this area. The same things that we did for the sky, uh, we will start with making everywhere wet first and i don't know what happened here but just if you see some stain on this try to remove it with the water okay use of a lot of the water here and then this color that i have here you can make it first your color and then make it wet it's gonna be uh, let you to have more time but this color that we have here it's a combination of uh, green and blue then i'm using of the green that i have here and i'm using of the blue then it's gonna be green and blue together and I'm gonna start it from here then the combination of the green and blue gonna be darker when I'm closer to the lower part and it's gonna get lighter in the top part. Be sure that it's gonna be a transition between light and dark. And when we are getting to horizon, this is gonna change. In the horizon, we have a darker blue again. And for making the darker blue, I'm gonna add a little of the ultramarine blue to this, and I'm gonna make a line here. You see that it's very close to the color that we had in the sky bottom part of the sky and this is a reflection of this that's why that we want the colors getting close to it but at the same time i'm using of the just a little of the blue on top of this then i have my horizon okay then this is the first a step for the water and I'm gonna work on the edges be sure that you're covering everywhere with your pigments um, okay that's the first step I, I have to let it get dry a little bit then this is dry I want to work in this part and adding this yellow and orange here you, you know that when i'm adding the yellow here it's gonna be a little greenish so then uh, when you're adding the yellow to it just expect to see a greenish color here and okay i'm gonna add the yellow here and you see that it's mostly in after this darkness that we have and with your rag coming and get rid of the edge of this then it's tapping on this and you're gonna have just uh, remove a lot of the pigments that you have but the most important part is we don't have to have a line here it should be like a light than the line and next is your using of the orange if you have orange use of orange if you don't have orange like me you have to make your orange you're using of the light red cadmium red that we have and you're adding the yellow to it 
and then it's that I'm coming with the, a little here here I'm gonna make it like that then you see that I have just in some parts using of the another clean brush and I'm gonna just wet my brush it's just the wetness of the brush and coming to make it just mix with the yellow then I want to have some part of this with more orangish colors and I'm gonna back on the orange part that I have and I'm gonna make it a little more orange here and I need water okay and I add a little more red to uh, my orange and making it a little more red you see that you need this rag in your hands because a lot of times we are using of these it's gonna get a, a lot of the water or pigment here then you want to just clean it and this is gonna be for the sky so this part is right now dry I didn't tape it to the board or some things that's why you see that the waters flow in one side of this and the other sides is that I don't have the enough blue then it's gonna be a little more work for me okay now is the time for the we have a island and we have a, a tree you see that the island is here i'm gonna use of the dark brown if you don't have a brown you can use of three primary colors to make the brown i'm gonna start with a medium brown here and this is just the place that i have the island and it's a, you know the island is mostly a lot of the roots of this tree that we have here and you see that my brown is not dark enough for making the brown darker you can use of the dark blue to make it darker the darker area mostly gonna be in the part that we have the shadow on this then use of this on the shadow shadowy part but don't make it like a outline of the your uh, island try to make it with dark and light in the different places and I'm gonna leave it like a orangish brown because of the color of the sky that it's orangish then it's gonna be some kind of the reflection for us here so now we're gonna start the tree for the tree start with the lighter colors for the this is uh, the best if you're using of the watercolor and ink always use and start with the lighter one then we're gonna add the darker color on top of this okay this is my Each of these branches gonna make a thinner and getting into divided to two parts. Then um, 
don't make them straight lines remember that it's a tree and this tree has a very nice shape very interesting one then try to make it more natural more organic less like a geometric line and i'm gonna add another one that we have here Okay, this is the first step for that. If you're more comfortable to come with a line, with the pencil line first, then do it, it's okay. But remember your line has to be very, very light and when you're using of the uh, watercolor on this, we don't have to see. So now is the time to make a darker brown on this and for making for using of the darker brown if again if you don't have the darker brown you can use of brown and ultramarine blue to make it darker okay so now it's the time that i'm coming use of the small brushes and coming to make a darkness for the some part of the branches that we have and making some of them in the bottom part I'm adding the dark mostly because um, the top part is the part that have more light on these then they are lighter and the bottom part is the part that's going to have more shadow on this. I'm not, not adding a lot in here because most of them gonna cover with the leaves that we have but just a little of this and we're gonna back to it to make it more a uh, bit more contrast we're showing that they overlap each other but for now it's good next step is your green you're using of the uh, two greens lighter green and darker green for making if you just have one green if you're using of the green and red it's gonna get darker and green and yellow gonna give us a, a lighter one for making the trees use of the one brush that has a you know that not a great uh, hair here and if you don't have this old one with the, this kind of the then when you're using of the larger one but mostly try we are gonna use of just the tip of this then you have two choice the best is if you have some things like uh, even like uh, this bamboo ones that has a uh, this kind of the uh, you know the pick of this is like that or you can use of the uh, round shapes i'm gonna use of this for that one first i'm making my green and for making my green i have to make two greens let me I just clean my palette and get rid of the old color that I have here and so we are using of the green 
any of this green i have both of them but i want to make the darker and lighter green then i'm using of this one here it's gonna be darker green here and the same time it's gonna get dry that it's a good things for our drawing we want it's getting dry and i'm gonna use a little of alizarin red on this to make it darker and deeper then this is for the my green dark green ones and for my lighter one i will use of the this green if you have just one green if you have just gradient green then you're using of the your green the green can get lighter with this yellow or that yellow this is a cadmium yellow and the other one is yellow ochre and i like yellow ochre color on the green better because it's gonna give us more uh, naturalistic green so this is the two green that right now i have we're gonna start with the lighter one i'm gonna just you know i'm not gonna remove all of the pigment here but i'm gonna come like that and just like your making tapping stamping on this and it's gonna be like that you see because of the the shape of um, the hair shape it's coming here and giving this this effect to us if you're using of the other kind of brush like that one that i have here the shape's gonna change look at this that it's gonna be more like that then it's up to you that you want to have this shape with a, a smoother one or if you want to have more like this shape i like this one better and i'm gonna continue with this this is closer to the shape that i have i'm out of my green then you're gonna start with the lighter one and yeah you're going wherever that you want to have more of this then is that we are using of the darker green the darker green like a darker um like a darker brown that we use coming mostly in the bottom part of this and i'm not gonna do it everywhere you know somewhere i'm adding darker value to it but not everywhere just in some part and it's not just in the bottom part it can be in the even middle of this but with the uh, middle that has some shadow i have too much darkness here i want to just remove some of them and this is gonna be so far our drawing you have the brown and the next step is making the shadow of the tree here use of the again one of the mm, brown that you have remember that this is not still dark enough then i'm gonna use of a dark dark blue here to create a more shadow and more that depth for this part then let me use of this and And I'm making this part darker, okay? And because I have this dark blue, I can continue in some part of the tree 
for example here that I want to show the overlapping and make it a little dark then I'm showing that it, it, it was a overlapping and I'm coming here and bringing the darkness inside of the like a shadow now is I want to make the this part with more reflection of the tree here for that I want to make it wet but remember that don't make it very wet just wet in this area and you have to work fast so then you have to be ready with your brown and i'm gonna make it a little of the brown here and a little of the browns of coming here i'm gonna just add more brown here and you see i, I just see see it like a it's underwater i'm gonna wait uh, until it's getting a little just a little uh, dry and i'm gonna come and work on this more and for the green part is i'm using of the lighter green that i have and i'm coming with the some of the green in the different part of this that it's wet all of them has to be wet okay and then use of a dry brush okay and coming and very smoothly make it like it's in the water and we have the shape of the water here okay then um i don't like this part i want to get rid of this but for the other part if i'm I think I want to have more green here. I'm gonna make it a little wet and coming with the, a little more green here too. And again, with my dry brush, I'm gonna come on top of this to make it more like a reflection that we have here in the this area in the this area i think still i need something it's very empty i want to make it more blue then i'm coming with the, my lighter blue cerulean blue that i use of this okay you see that it's too much but okay the other part's gonna be water After that, it's just you manipulate your paint, adding more or less. Uh, if you want to make it less, you have to remove the pigments, but some part of this, it needs more pigments, then I'm gonna add it to it. And I want to make with the, a little more pigments on this, some kind of the shape. of highlight I'm using of the side of my brush for this one to have just some kind of the highlight here okay I think it's good for the first landscape drawing with um, watercolor again it's you can continue on this uh, if i want to continue of this i'm gonna make a purple color and 
I'm gonna come to the horizon with more of the purple color here and make it more purplish. And again, you can continue until you'll be happy with this. It's not that um, right now I'm done with this. I'm going to continue working on that one. But for the first attempt to making a landscape drawing with watercolor, um, this is good. So see you or just we're going to have another video soon.